the future of the sustainable design, I guess I still see it, you know, we're still in the, in some respects in the earliest stages of development. I mean, it's, we have to move to a, a higher level of integration. We have to, to become more proactive in the way that we apply uh, our, what we currently know about sustainability and design. I'm thinking that it's going to turn into more a discussion of the process that it's not so much going to be materials necessarily going forward, but it's how does the process happen uh, from inception through actually completion of a design and what kinds of things are being considered as you go along through that process. So hopefully to make decisions that are best for the project and the owner and the building occupants that are going to be using the facility once it's completed. I would say that I would see sustainability and the LEED system uh, in over the next several or many years as simply becoming more mature. Right now it, it's a novel system, right now it's a system that some people ignore because it quote costs too much. I think that sustainable design is going to be uh, mandated by code. I think what's happening now is that with the creation of the International Green Building Code, Construction Code, and Cal Green and different jurisdictions adopting a minimum requirement that needs to be met in order to achieve LEED, what, you're, what you have is a situation where um, uh, primarily LEED or sustainable design is going to be part of the building code. I think that the, the systems will just integrate naturally to the design process. You won't need to have lead points. You won't need to obtain a certain level. It's just like, this is what we do now. And then to achieve higher performance, uh, the requirements to achieve these different levels is going to increase. So it's going to be di more difficult to actually achieve a lead platinum because there'll be a portion of lead is going to be part of the building code. And so the need to go even higher is going to be greater. New York State, for instance, has a 2030 plan. Um, I would say net zero energy is, will, will become what LEED Platinum is now in, let's say, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, and then from there, positive energy. Doing something we know very, very well, like designing a building, will approach it as if you never have. Approach it with a, with a fresh mind, with a, a free spirit, and you know, really design with, uh, without uh, all of the, you know, in some ways, hindrances or knowledge, however you want to look at it, of how things have been done in the past. I think that's where we all are. We all have to really, and that's where sustainability is, we all have to think about and design as if we haven't solved that problem before.